Hi, this is Ashley. It's um, Thursday, June 16th, 2022. Um, some things are on the upswing, you could say. Um, I have lights on. It's kind of a funny story. So I was sitting here yesterday morning and everything goes black. I wasn't surprised. I went and got my little solar panels, my little generator, you know, solar power generator, these charge laptops and uh, cell phones, cameras, stuff like that. Um, and I, I've been surprised that the lights, I was amazed that the lights were still on, to tell you the truth. Well, I'm amazed they came back on. Um, so, feverishly trying to pack by myself. But we'll have to tell you about this here. Oh my God, it hurts. A couple injuries. Um, so it's dark and sometimes I'll go out in my car and maybe sit or like work on something. It's just, I kind of feel like I call bye eyes if I sit out there for a few minutes. Um, just right out front. And um, some of my neighbors again have been so sweet. There's three main ones, and they've been feeding me and what have you. Um, anyway, I'm outside doing whatever in my car. A young couple lives down at the end unit. They um, have a little baby. They got their baby before I got Nikki, darling Nikki, who's chewing on something behind me. Um, I'm watching a little baby grow. She's really cute. So I'm doing what I'm doing. And the guy says to me, he says, hey. You know what time the power's coming back on? I said, what? You know what time the power's coming back on? I'm like, you mean it isn't just me? I was thrilled. He said, no, it's everybody. It's the whole area. So, that kind of made my day, I have to tell you. Because uh, it was really hot. And um, anyway, I tried all my equipment I had for my little mobile tiny home. Um... So that, and then I did decide to, to um, apply for the disability social security. I gotta do something. I gotta get some kind of money coming in. I did have that interview Monday, which I think kind of went well. I think, I, I think it'd be a great job. I love the organization. I had a couple people say I'd be perfect for it who know me. Um, Women's Housing Coalition still is the irony. Just you can't make this stuff up in my life. I know she sounds like I have made it. Where is she coming up with these stories? Is she okay? I don't make them up. This shit happens. And I and you have to have a sense of humor. You've been done hung yourself a long time ago. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do the social security. I'm online. I told you I've gone round and round with every single organization. You know, local government, nonprofit agencies, and I'm real disappointed. And uh, I'm sorry. You know, if you want to accept a job and do the minimum amount of work, fine. But you don't get to take a job, like say, at a nonprofit, in a civil justice agency, and do the bare minimum. No, it's it's it. It's an activist, means activity. You have to be active if you're working in those organizations. I'm real disappointed with Civil Justice League, man. Anyway, I digress. So, um, because they, they, well, they've done nothing with my domestic partner benefits, which means if I get, if I accept my disability benefits, I won't be eligible for significant, Sydney, my, what I would get from Sid, for um, survivor benefits. I mean, this could be your, I could be your wife. You're married, husband and wife. Imagine if this happened to her. And every widow I've talked to depends on those benefits. So, I, um, uh, who knows what I filled out at what organizations trying to get some information. Um, Anyway, I get a call from a lady the other day about, oh, you want to apply for disability? I'm like, well, no, I would like to get my survivor benefits. And we kind of ended the call. She was very, very nice. And uh, 
Then she texted me afterwards just to confirm that she called, which was smart. It really was. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, Ashley, you just freaking apply. You got to get something going. You have a hard time functioning day to day. And on that, I want to say, um, in my YouTube channel, that playlist, emergency, go fund me. Um, excuse me. There's a bunch of videos of mine, um, and and I I've picked a couple of videos that explain what CPTSD is in simple terms, what PTSD is and, and how it affects a person. Same with ADHD. And well, they're all, they're, they're probably some of the better ones that explain it very concisely and they're not real long videos. And the guy who talks about ADHD, I mean, he, it's like explaining, I mean, anybody who ha really has ADHD, you will think he is talking about you specifically. And imagine PTSD combined with ADHD is really not a good combination. I don't suggest it for anyone. Um, so anyway, um, I texted her back and said, you know, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should just apply for it. And she was really, again, nice. Uh, she works for, uh, it's an attorney. It's his organization. They, I don't, anyway, apparently they, I'd rather just have an attorney deal with it. It's probably the best thing. People, you know, you do two, three times, then you're out. It'll take forever. Um, so I did that. And uh, the lady was really nice. She basically talked me through some things, like the things I should really concentrate on being very complete with and filling out the application. I gave her information, signed disclosures, release of information. And um, I said, what have it? I had... So my therapist today and told her uh, that I applied for social security. She was actually pretty happy. Actually, God, all my doctors seemed very happy that I was applying. <laughs> Happiest I've seen them in a while. Um, so we, her and I discussed, you know, I, I need a letter from her. So my mental capacity um, and diagnosis. And it used to be the ADHD was the primary but since they took Parker from me, um, the PTSD has been off fucking hook. It's, it's just been off the hook. The day they took that dog, my life stopped. Everything stopped. And I mean, I spent a good 11 months in a constant state of fight or flight. You know, if you, if, if you, it's not something you recover from quickly. It doesn't happen in an hour or two. It could take a day. Just a neighbor suggested something about me putting my cats in a shelter. And I mean, as it, you know, I could not bear to have another animal taken from me for no reason. I've always taken great care of my animals. One thing Sid and I had in common is uh, how much we loved our pets, how they came first. And we always said if we came back, we wanted to come back as one of our pets because they had the life. They did all of our pets. I've got a bunch of in, in boxes over here, everybody's ashes. But I don't have Parker and I want him back. Yeah. If I thought he was in a better place, I would I want to see my dog. I want my dog. Um, there's a special connection between me and him. And it's just wrong. I mean, it broke his heart more than mine, and the effect it had on the cats. Um, anyway, um, so my therapist was happy that I, I applied. That was a good idea. We discussed diagnosis, and and you, you have to be, really got to break down the stigma when it comes to seeking and maintaining good mental health. I use this phrase so often. If it wasn't for committing to that myself because in seeking and maintaining good mental health you're allowed to grow and move forward as opposed to stagnating really staying the same is no fun um you just distracted me i've been so distractible 
Uh, I'm still in the house. This is the other thing. I'm still waiting for a knock at the freaking door. I did, um, I emailed my, my attorney and his assistant. I'm afraid to call him. Um, so my, that I had at my other doctor's appointment, I had to get some injections in my back and, and my shoulder and then this arm from that freaking vaccination. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if this was the COVID booster or it could have been the shingle shot. Either way, they put it in the wrong place and it hurts so bad. So I got, um, it's like an epidural. Um, I guess, yeah. And then shot in, in the, the COVID, oh, COVID, whatever the, vaccina the vaccination shoulder, it reignited an old injury, a serious injury, like under my, I call it my wing, my shoulder, that hadn't bothered me. Actually, the same doctor kind of cured that back in 2007. I haven't had to deal with that pain in that long. In 2000, I mean, you do the math, I can't. Um, so, I know I'll qualify for disability. Everybody seems to know I'll qualify for disability. Um, I, I can either get it for, you know, the physical because of all the conditions. I know I left, I mean, it's something. Oh, and I had that new injury. Actually, my doctor said he just had the hydraulics on his um, SUV get out and do the same exact thing to him that they did to me. Um, a little secret. You know, when mine hit, I saw stars. I mean, literally saw stars. And I felt my knees giving out. I learned a trick. I'm a fainter from way back when. When I was a little kid, I was passing out left and right all over the place. And, you know, so it's not a lot of fun when strang you wake up with those strangers over you. I learned a trick, and it works. I have not hit the deck since I learned this. If you feel lightheaded or feel like you might faint, and this is more effective than putting your head between your legs. You'd be standing up or sitting, um, you squeeze your butt cheeks real tight together. What does it pushes the blood back up to your head, keeps you from hitting the deck. And, and when mine hit, I just felt, and I said, oh no. And I squeezed my butt cheeks so tight. And I did not pass out, but oh my God, I said to myself, oh my God, that's gonna hurt. And it still does. <clears throat> and that messed up all of this. Anyway, it, it was a bad hit. So this thing here, oh, I got so many freaking injuries. Uh, this hurts so bad. <clears throat> it was the freezer door, man. I guess my head's just at the height of that corner of it. And um, and I, did, I hit it, but it was so bad. I, I could feel like the nerves. It hit a nerve, and it was like, oh, my God, you feel like the nerve going like, back over my head. I was telling my doctor, he's like, well, I guess so. It probably really did hurt. It did. I was surprised it didn't bust it. And <clears throat> the pain was like, I said, it went up like this. So I was surprised to see that it was actually hit here. Um, oh, God. And then I slipped. I got bandage on my string of arms. Scrape them. I still need um, ADHD. and move around a little too fast. But, well, I got too comfortable. So I did that. <clears throat> and then um, we were putting stuff last Monday, not this past one, the one before, um, into the storage aboard. I guess it was about uh, maybe three quarter inch, like a plywood, um, like maybe two feet by three feet. It was propped up and it fell about from that high, the point, the corner of it hit my foot like right there and man i saw it today i have a, um i wasn't trying to look before i have a bruise on my foot to match the one on my head anyway um my doctors were so happy that i'm doing this and they're doing their letters and i have to get a referral for an assessment and um anyway that's the update Please share. I do need to generate some funds because uh, I got to get a place to stay. Uh, I do.
and uh, I had to give you the update because I don't, people don't think I'm making this stuff up. Oh, I know that neighborhood. My friends' lights were off. But they're all on now. Anyway, thank you all for watching and um, stay safe.